important to remember that voter registration as a statistic is a lagging statistic, meaning it takes a while yeah. for the states to compile the new registrants, report it. Yeah. So at this point, we only have seven or eight states that have reported enough new registration data of people who registered to vote since June 24th, um, June 24th being relevant because of the day of the Dobbs decision being handed down by the Supreme Court. Uh, and so we've looked at that. And the reason that we're looking at that, and we will continue to look at that, is because we do believe it has the potential to very much change the landscape. You know, in 2018, in a similar sense, we looked at voter registration among younger voters uh, pre and post February 14th. February 14th, 2018 was the date of the Parkland massacre. And what we saw was this emergence of activism among younger uh, Mm -hmm. people, especially the March for Our Lives around the country, millions and millions of people coming out. But this this new generation of youth leadership saying that we need to, you know, the, the refrain at each of those rallies was vote them out. They, they recognized that was the only way that they were going to make progress on that issue was to vote out those who were standing in the way. And we looked at the data and we saw immediately a surge in youth voter registration. And then that just continued. And it was met with a lot of skepticism, to be clear. Uh, uh, the Washington, we put out an analysis in June of 2018 and the Washington Post uh, published their own response to it, <laughs> saying uh, effectively, sure, young people might be registering to vote, but they don't vote in midterm elections, so they're not going to have an impact. Uh, and then we put out an update in August of 2018 showing that it was continuing, still skepticism, the early vote from the election, which is a great indicator of intensity to see who's engaged. Midterm elections, it's a big question. Turnout varies significantly in these midterm elections. Uh, and the younger voters had huge turnout then. And then in the end, as we know, younger voters almost doubled their vote share. The blue wave doesn't happen without them. Well, we are seeing something now in just the very early data that we're looking at among women voters that looks very similar to what we saw with younger voters in, in 2018. 